Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and welcome to Esoteric Influences. <clears throat> Already losing my voice <laughs> for the, let's see, the 31st day of July 2020. Well, uh, we have a four energy for today with the 31, uh, so a seven for the month, one last day, and then tomorrow we have an eight, and then a 22 for the year. Uh, it just means today with uh, the four being in place, structural concerns are, are happening today as we find common ground with others, move around obstacles and challenges, and collaborate with others on a new path, uh, and that's going to be reinforced pretty much throughout the uh, uh, whole reading today. Let me get some tea here. <clears throat> I think my voice is okay, and then I start talking. It's like, oh my. <laughs> All of the allergies are coming out. Uh, anyway, we have a, a rune today, Lagoos, the 21st rune of the Elder Futhark, a three energy. It's a water element rune. It involves flow and intuition and harmony and clairsentience. It's an occult rune. Uh, it represents an assertive female. Uh, it's also useful in dream or trance work. Uh, it's good for emotional balance. It's good to draw energy back to you. Uh, it's a rune of purification and cleansing. Um, if you're empathic, you can chant Lagoos as you visualize the channels that you create between you and whatever, you know, their thought channels exact, is, 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 is actually what they are. And what happens when you focus your attention anywhere, whether it's on anything, it doesn't matter what it is, a person, a thing, a situation, a memory, it doesn't matter. You create a thought channel to that. It's an energetic channel. It's really, really helpful, especially if you're empathic, to pull that back uh, and pull your energy back to yourself to just let those channels of energy uh, dissolve. And one way to do that is to chant Lagoos and visualize Lagoos as a hook where you're pulling your energy back to you. Uh, that can be helpful. Uh, if, if you can just allow it to dissolve, some people call it cutting cords. I find that to be just a little too harsh sounding. Now, you know, for others, it might just be fine. They don't see it that way, and that's okay. Um, just for me, I like to think of it in terms of dissolving them, though, because the thing is, is if you need to put them back there, you can. If there's a reason, you know, to to engage again with whatever you're you're thinking about or whoever you're talking to or, or whatever. But most of this stuff happens when you're not with anybody else. And this is just coming from you. Uh, it's easy to think that everything else upsets us and everyone else upsets us. And true, situations can be upsetting. People can be upsetting. All of that's true. And anyone experiencing would likely become upset, but it's whether or not after that, that you remain there. That, that if, because if you find yourself remaining in a place where something's no longer happening, but you're bringing it up anyway, in your mind, in your memory, you're creating a thought channel to that experience that really, well, I mean, it may or may not even be accurate in terms of that. So use Lagoos today to do that if you want. Uh, I use it. I just chant Lagoose quietly. I get, I get, go to my still point and just envision everything that I might have out there dissolving and then bringing back what's left to me, to my center. Uh, so, so that's a useful tool with Lagoose. But in any event, it, intuition flows today, offering a greater understanding. Uh, allow the voice of spirit to guide your choices again, but if empathic, shielding may be necessary if energies become uncomfortable. Take time to align in your still point and offer healing from within that aligned state. Uh, I did a book uh, a couple of years back called Magic and the Aligned Witch. And what that is, uh, it kind of dovetails with Shifting Perception, which is my most recent one, where I'm in that one I'm talking about saying, okay, we need to shift our perception away from the ego-based thought patterns and move it into spirit where it belongs because that's what we are. We forget that and we think somehow we have to work our way back to all of it. No, you just have to know that it's true. And there you are. There's no working your way back. It's dealing with the ego that has gotten in your way that's the real issue, not who you actually are. That's just a given. 
okay? That can't be changed no matter what. The ego, on the other hand, can be transmuted into spirit, right? <laughs> so, so the idea of either healing from that, you know, it's very similar to a Reiki master. I'm a Reiki master offering Reiki at a distance to people doing distance healing. <clears throat> You're basically envisioning that other person and <clears throat> there you go. You're, uh, uh, whether you know what the issue is or not, you don't really need to. Uh, you just offer, you know, you just basically do your healing session that you would do on the body. You just do it in absentia, basically. Uh, either you use some kind of, you know, stuffed animal to do it on, or you can use your hand, you can, whatever you need to use uh, to do that distance healing, you use it, right? But you're basically in sending that energy to that individual and they receive it okay it all happens energetically but it works uh, and the idea behind offering healing today is if you go within and you know cast the intention of healing to everyone you know like like especially with healing perceptions maybe or healing the virus even we see this happen in, in prayer groups where they can accomplish amazing things in terms of healing of other people. Monks getting together in unison and chanting create and can affect a, a tremendous change. So understand that you have this power to do this, it, to, to go into your own source presence and offer that healing to other people today. <clears throat> and, it, you know, and if you want to, you can, you can check out Magic and the Aligned Witch. Uh, and, and see how you do that in terms of working magic. It, it's all basically, it's focused intention, whether you're talking about the thoughts you focus on to someone else when you're thinking about them, or whether you're talking about working magic, it's all the same stuff, really. So both books might help you, especially if you're empathic, in getting yourself dovetailed toward that idea. And it helps you then to take better charge of the energetic exchange you have with other people, particularly if vampiric energy is coming in. And, and you know, if, <clears throat> and if, that's, if that's not enough, there's also when vampires attack, I wrote that one as well. You can look at that one too if you're having problems with that. So realistically when, you know, because I've chosen Lagoos or I've drawn Lagoos from the bag today, it sort of brings up all this stuff, you know, just know that if you're empathic and you're struggling with all of this, and not being able to discern what's yours or someone else, begin with drawing back your energy. Own it and draw it back and let the rest of it dissolve to, to, to its destination. So, you know, it's like most of it is going to dissolve when you visualize it. Okay, that's what you're going to do with that today. Anyway, little side side deal there for empaths uh, with La Goose, but, you know, it's it's the perfect rune to, uh, to talk about that with and... Uh, uh, so again, use it. It's uh, it's not just a divination tool. It's not just part of a runic alphabet. It's actually useful in terms of, of managing your energy flow. So in any event, let's move on to the last, last part of this, the human design section of the reading. Uh, the channels of awareness uh, continue to be active today, indicating a higher self-influence on our relationships with others as they continue to play a dominant role in what we're experiencing to date. Realistically, this 22 year is about our relationships with one another and bringing them into alignment, bringing our own selves into alignment and then in alignment with other people. Think the 22, <laughs> twice, it's a 22 year, so two, two. Align your, each person has to align their own, their own uh, uh, energies and, and their, own, their own truth into higher self, uh, into the higher self, basically, because that's who we are, all right? And then from there, we come together in a much better way than what we have been. It, it sort of eliminates the whole loggerhead business that we seem to want to get into with one another. That's the ego coming out, though. And it's not representative of, of the higher truth that we all exist with, all right? That we all are. So restraint may prove challenging today, resulting in potential anxiety, overreaching an ultimate outcome. So surrender to the greater objective while staying watchful for the right opportunity to present itself. However, when that does appear, when the opportunity does appear, uh, and through counsel uh, with others, the correct path will unfold. Just know that. But ideally, it's the not going it alone <clears throat> and acting impulsively that is the real key here. Uh, collaborate with others on the way forward. 
check in with other people and help keep them on the help them to to stay the course in other words just as you need to help stay the to help yourself stay the course here no matter what this is for you today whatever challenges are presenting clearly we're all dealing with the virus we're all having to contend with what the government's doing which is nutty uh, now they want to go after our ability to vote, which they can't. But you, but you know, that this is this is a crazy time. So so we all have to be vigilant. We all have to be watchful. We all have to pay attention now. There's a lot of deception, a lot of of chaos that's being sown right now. It's what they do. It's to keep everybody off balance so that they can remain in control. Don't let anybody really know what's really going on. Don't really tell people what they need to know. <clears throat> and then they'll just have to listen to the authority, right? Problem is, the authority isn't an authority at all. They have shirked that responsibility too many times. And now we have what we have. So pay attention and collaborate with others toward a shared goal today of staying well, staying alive, staying in harmony with one another, and then manifesting a new future together. So I know it's a lot to do on a Friday, but it's a Venus day, so it should be easy, right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anyway, Thanks so much. I'm going to go ahead now and do the somewhat daily tarot and rune reading, which I, I guess I forgot to post it to Instagram yesterday. I don't know. It was still in the queue when I got when I came in here this morning. So I went ahead and posted yesterday's on Instagram. I will remember to post somewhat daily tarot and rune today. I'm making it my mission. <laughs> so this will go up, of course, on Instagram, but I don't know what happened yesterday. I got busy and I, I oh, I know what it was. Oh no, I know exactly what it was. I watched President Obama give uh, John Lewis's eulogy. I got caught up. Well, you know, I miss him. I miss sanity. I miss, <clears throat> I miss eloquence. I miss a person, a president who can actually makes sense when he talks. I miss someone with grace. I miss someone who understands the real issues at hand and <clears throat> acts from the standpoint of intelligence instead of, you know, whatever it is this other guy does. I don't know. To me, it looks like greed and self-serving and self-dealing and all of that. But who knows? Maybe it's more than that. Uh, all I know is that it's a shame that we've had to cope with what we've had to cope with. And uh, hopefully going forward, that will end. But uh, we'll see. Got to vote. <laughs> I don't know. So anyhow, uh, we'll get together tomorrow and talk again. Uh, but otherwise, check in on the uh, somewhat daily tarot word moon for all of that's good stuff. And uh have a wonderful day. Be good to yourself. Be good to one another. Wear a mask if you go out. And blessed be.